Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joel Domingo and I want to welcome you to CityU's LDRD 650 Curricular Design in Higher Education. For those of you who this is your first class with me, it's great to meet you. Uh, for those of you who have had me as an instructor before, uh, it's great to see you again. Uh, before we delve into the class material, I wanted to give you a brief bio. Uh, I oversee the higher education leadership, nonprofit leadership, and the specialized study concentrations here at CityU, and have a long history as a faculty member and administrator at several higher education institutions. Uh, prior to my time in higher education, I spent a lot of time in the nonprofit as well as the educational policy world, which included a stint at the Washington State Governor's Office. As you complete your SIA, your student introductory assignment, consider doing a video like this or even a voiceover PowerPoint or presentation as it's pretty simple. If you've never done it before, feel free to reach out to me and I can walk you through it. In this class, Curricular Design in Higher Education, we're going to explore this idea of what it means to design relevant and engaging curricula, especially in an outcomes focused environment. Uh, curricular design is more than just simple lesson planning or what people see as just content, uh, but it's a lot more involved than that. It takes into account a whole range of factors like the organizational learning needs, uh, the learning context, who are the stakeholders and the people involved. Um, it considers how material is being delivered, uh, the content itself, and ultimately the outcomes. All of these things have to be taken into account and be in sync with one another. The word in curricular design, which you will hear throughout this class, is alignment. Um, in module one of this week, what we're going to do is review the first chapter of the book and we'll explore the overall goal and scope of curricular design in higher education. What you'll do is you'll be posting on the discussion board from that. Throughout this course, I'll have these wrap-up videos which will review the, main, the main concepts from the week and preview the week ahead. I'll also comment on things I've observed both in the discussion threads and the assignments. One thing that I also like to do in these videos, especially when important assignments are due, is to give you some small tips on what I'm looking for in the papers. One thing that I also like doing in my classes is provide a real-time opportunity for us to gather together as a class, which gives us a chance to connect, to review the material, and to ask any questions regarding our class or even about the program. This is done via a Blackboard Collaborate or even a live Twitter chat. I try to do this a couple of times during the term. It's optional and not required, but I find that students like to touch base and get the opportunity to connect more personally. Think of it as digital office hours and you can come and go as you please. I'll set the first one up in a few weeks and let you know when it is in an upcoming announcement. One final thing from me, as in all of my classes, is that I hope you have fun and that this class um, is both practical and informative. I'm always available for your questions, comments, and concerns, so don't hesitate to contact me anytime. That's all for now, and I will see you online.